Welcome to the Rogan Extras video. Here we'll cover a few additional features and options. Use the menu to navigate to specific topics or simply watch the entire video. Using the Rogan footprint. The best time to attach the footprint to your tent is before you go outdoors. Indoors, lay your tent out with the floor side up. Lay the footprint on top of the tent floor with logo side towards the floor. Note that the logo on the footprint should match up with the logo that is on one end of the outer tent. Attach the red toggles in the corners of the footprint to the rings in the corners of the Rogan's outer tent. Note that the footprint only covers the area of the inner tent. You can leave the footprint attached when you pack the tent. Weather options. Lowering the Rogan's vestibules. To achieve more coverage of the vestibule area in stormy weather, unpeg the vestibule, shorten the peg tensioner, then re-peg and tighten the vestibule. This brings the edge of the vestibule closer to the ground. Entering the Rogan in the rain. When entering your Rogan in the rain, unzip the door only about halfway. This helps keep the rain off the inner tent door. Alternative ways to take down the Rogan. In very windy conditions, you may find it easier to take your Rogan down by getting it onto the ground before removing the poles. Unpeg everything except the two corners and two guy lines on the end of the tent with the closed ends of the pole sleeves. Loosen the pole tensioner for the shorter roof pole and expose the pole end. Loosen both pole tensioners for the long poles and remove the pole ends from the pole cups. Press down on the crossing point of the pole so that the tent flattens out. Remove the two long poles first and then the short roof pole. Fold all the poles then pack the tent. Adding additional guy lines to the Rogan. In very windy weather, you may want to add extra guy lines to your tent. Use a piece of guy line that is about two meters in length. Tie one end to the attachment point midway up one of the vestibule entrances. We recommend you use an adjustable knot so that you can adjust the guy line's tension. Tie the other end to the attachment point above the zipper. Peg the line out as you would any of the pre-attached guy lines and adjust the knots to get the tension you want. Repeat the process with the other side. Using the Rogan outer tent separately. To use the outer tent on its own, move all four corner pegs to the inside of the poles. This prevents the tent from splaying out when the inner tent is removed. Disconnect the inner tent's toggles from the outer tent's rings, starting at one of the inside corners. To make reattachment easier, leave one or two of the toggles in place and tuck the inner tent into the corner. Using the outer tent on its own offers a good space for people to gather. Using the Rogan inner tent separately. To use the inner tent separately, you disconnect it from the outer tent. You'll also need four pole holders, which are available for purchase separately, as well as the two long poles and four pegs. Lay the inner tent out and connect the pole holders to the rings at the corners of the inner tent. Start at one corner and thread one pole through one of the lines of elastic loops on the inner tent including the webbing loop at the top of the tent. Then put the pole end into the pole holder at the end of the loops. 
Repeat with the other pole. Make sure to slide this pole through the same top webbing loop. Holding onto one of the corners with the free pole holders, arch the pole and place the end into the pole holder. Repeat this with the other pole. Peg the four corners. Remember to press the pegs in completely at about a 45 degree angle to the ground. Using the optional Rogan mesh inner tent. The optional Rogan mesh inner tent can be used in place of the regular inner tent. Simply remove the inner tent and button in the mesh inner in its place. To use the Rogan mesh inner tent separately, you will need the two 377cm by 9mm poles that came with your Rogan as well as four pegs. The Rogan mesh inner tent comes with pole holders already attached to the corners. Lay out the mesh inner tent and starting at one corner, thread one pole through one of the lines of elastic loops, including the webbing loop at the top of the tent. Put the pole end into the pole holder at the end of the loops. Repeat with the other pole. Make sure to slide this pole through the same top webbing loop. Holding onto one of the corners with the free pole holders, arch the pole and place the end into the pole holder. Repeat with the other pole. Peg the four corners. Remember to press the pegs in completely at about a 45 degree angle to the ground. Once the mesh inner is up, if you need quick weather protection, you can drape the outer tent over it. Spread the outer tent over the mesh inner tent and align the lines of the pole sleeves with the poles. Then either hook the outer tent corner loops over the pegs that you put into the mesh inner corner loops or peg down the outer tent corners. You can also use a Rogan mesh inner tent with a Hilleberg tarp 10. This is an excellent combination for warm weather use as the mesh inner tent provides fully ventilated bug protection and you can set up the tarp if you need protection from rain or sun. Drape the tarp tent over the mesh inner tent with its longer dimension parallel to the short sides of the Rogan mesh inner tent. Pull out and loosely peg all the guy lines, leaving the lines themselves fairly slack. Set a trekking pole so it's a little bit longer than the height of the Rogan mesh inner tent. Put the pole's tip into the ring in the tarp that is in front of the tent's door, then tighten the guy line. For easiest adjustment of the guy line, place the guy line loop behind the tip of the trekking pole and then tension the line runner. Repeat with another trekking pole at the back of the tent. Tighten the other guy lines and adjust their peg points as needed to get the setup and coverage you want. 